press, Washington, D.C. press has come down here. They've taken their sides like they did with Obama and Trump and against Trump. They, they picked up Edwin and said, this is our guy. We're running with our guy, Cameron. And let's just face it, that's what they're doing. I, I don't see any semblance of truth. When I read the newspapers, I go, wow. It makes it looks like you guys were the wrong guys, but you guys were right. Y'all, y'all actually did what y'all were voted to do. Y'all were voted in to go fight to say we got a spending problem. Let's curb spending. Y'all curbing spending at the same time, we still have an increase in the budget. Yeah, that's that's I mean, that's the, the, a lot of members who don't <clears throat> who don't want to you don't want to compromise as much as I have, but that's the whole point of this is that we're we're trying to make some progress here and save a little bit. But the, the governor's idea of a victory this session would have been raising your taxes and passing a bad budget. That's what he would consider a, an accomplishment, something he could hang his hat on. That's that's an, that's ridiculous. That's absurd. That's embarrassing to say that that's your goal. Um, he, he he prefers that over a compromise, over working with people. Um, you know, this is not a dictatorship. Uh, every governor seems to think they have one. And I think the biggest adjustment that he's having, as well as the Senate, is that the House is an independent body. The House is not controlled by the governor. And everybody's having some difficulty grasping that. Uh, I don't think the governor still got it. Uh, hopefully yesterday's vote uh, explains that to him and said, look, you have to work with people. You don't just get to come in and, and start ordering people around. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always optimistic that this this special session that ends on Monday, uh, starts Monday, ends Monday, will we'll come out a little bit better than the one we just finished. But, man, <clears throat> you know, at a certain point, you, you, ne- you negotiate so far, and then when it gets to well, the point where it's not the best interest of the taxpayers, you have to stop. I, I like one of the other things you did. Uh, they, they ask you, and uh, you basically said this special session, you're going to basically go back and start the process over. And according to what they said in the paper, and I want to make sure this is right because I never believe what the newspapers say, it tends to move the budget that looks basically like the original House version. Yes. And, and I think, by the way, I think that's where you ought to go. I don't think y'all ought to give in. I, I think y'all ought to stick to exactly what y'all are doing. I think y'all are right. Look, the press can write what they want about y'all, Cameron. The fact is y'all trying to do something different. If we would have did what they wanted to do, which is spend every dang penny, we have mid-year budget cuts again. They're not solving anything. And really, the only thing the governor has done is say, let's raise taxes. There's been no leadership in anything. It's let's raise taxes, let's raise taxes, let's raise taxes, because he thinks he's won. People like Jim Beam, Deputy Deputy Press Secretary for him, they keep telling people he won in a mandate because he won 5644. No, that's not what happened. Vitter got beat, as you know. That just didn't work out for him. But uh, he didn't win the election like they think he did. They, they read this election wrong. Well, but the, the, they, you, you read things like that and say, okay, so on that day you won an election. That doesn't mean you get to be a dictator for the next four years. That just meant on that day you were the most popular person, just that day. And they think because of that now you get to rule the state as a dictator. That's not how it works. No. Maybe a long time ago, but times have changed. Yep. People have to evolve. I mean, they're, 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 it's just it's breathtaking how narrow-minded they are with all of this. Yeah, I mean, right. the, I, by the way, I mean, uh, the headline said uh, governor said uh, governor said epic failure leadership. He shouldn't be so hard on himself. <laughs> he shouldn't be so hard here on him and Alario. We know they failed. They don't have to tell everybody they were they were they failed. Uh, you but, guys, you guys really led. You led a fight to say, guys, we got to do something different. You the guys that focused on spending. All they talk about is spending more, spending more, spending more. And where do you go get it? From what, the second worst economy in the country, from but, from people that flooded, from people that lost their jobs in the oil and gas industry. They don't even consider that. Yeah. They 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 are perfectly content having government agencies tell them how much money that they would like, and then giving it to them. Mm-hmm. And that's not that's not possible. Somebody has to pay for that. It comes out of the pockets of every one of your listeners right now. Yeah, an economy uh, can only only you can only bring in so much money. By the way, I got a question for you, Cameron. Cameron Henry, yes. Representative Cameron Henry, head of appropriations, doing a yeoman's work. Great job, great job on the budget. These guys fought and fought. Special session starts Monday. Uh, uh, right around the corner, they got about a week or so to get it done, and I'm, I'm hoping y'all get it done on your side. I don't, y'all compromise. That's what's so sad. Y'all did the compromise, and the Senate didn't. And uh, but one of the things I want to ask you know, you know how they bring, and you know this, when y'all have all these committee meetings and meetings, they they bring all these people in front and they give the doom and gloom scenario. 
I think you'd agree with me. Yo, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yo, That's the strategy of every governor. Okay, but 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 let me throw this at you with the session getting right ahead. Why don't y'all go to central Louisiana in Denham Springs and Youngsville, Louisiana, and Monroe, where people lost their homes? All and gas industry is a great place to start, where people lost their homes and their job. And bring them at the committee and say, here's, uh, here's Moon Graffon. And, and this didn't happen to me, but it, but there's a lot of people it happened to. And one after another, say, well, I was working in the oil industry making $140,000 a year, and now I'm making 60000 and And we're barely getting by, and I can't afford another penny tax. And, and to bring another one where I lost my home and my job. Because that's all they're doing is playing on a motion. Most of the entities that came in front of you, tell me if I'm wrong, are getting increases in their budget. Correct. Every every Just about every state agency is getting a little bit more money than they got the year before. Um, it's not as much as they want, but obviously you know that we have tough, tough economic times and everybody's holding back. So you, 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 you need, you know, government needs to do the exact same thing, but government's just not used to that. They're used to always, you know, more, more, more. Um, it's just the governor's strategy. His, his philosophy is the biggest problem we have is that government doesn't have enough of your money. Yep, yep. By the way, I just want to add something else, Cameron. If I'm wrong, tell me. Somebody just pointed this out to me. Didn't y'all send the budget over to the Senate on May 4th? And and yesterday yeah. when the session in, wasn't it June 8th? It's, and, you, and by the way, y'all showing no leadership, according to them. Y'all epic failure in leadership, according to them in the press. Seems like to me the leadership was there. Y'all sent a budget. Y'all did a specific budget, stand still with a few mandates. I don't know, 40, 50, 80, maybe whatever it was, increase. They don't look at that as a budget. They don't look at that as an increase. They don't look at that as, as a budget being sent over because it wasn't jacked up by two to $400 million. You are correct. We sent the budget to the Senate the earliest it has ever been sent to them. They almost had a, uh, they had well over almost a month to look at it. Normally, previous years they got about a week. So I don't know what else we could have done to to, to move this along along any faster. But sometimes I think that it, and I, I I hope this isn't the case that the governor almost was looking forward to this session failing, um, hoping that that'll put more pressure on people to vote the way that they shouldn't vote. Um, I don't know what type of leadership that is, is when your strategy is to fail. Uh, mine surely isn't. Uh, the, the members of the House that I, that I talk to uh, on both sides of the aisle, I both know. Republicans, their strategy is, is not to fail. I, I, call, um, I call that lack of leadership from the governor is what I call it. Epic failure on the governor's part. By the way, let's take a break. Cameron, can you hold one more segment? Yes, sir. It's Thank a you. short one, seven, eight minutes. A few more questions, 844-766-6607. Hickson has a hotline and Representative Cameron Henry, one of the real fighters for doing right by the people, is on the line with me. By the way, we're going to take this, put this on my Facebook. Lance Harris, Representative Harris, comes on at 930. We're going to take those, put them on the Facebook, and let you listen to the truth on the Moon Graffon Show. By the way, we'll take a break. Be right back. Hi, y'all. All. Welcome back Moon Graffon Show. Great to have you with us, 844-766-6607. Hickson has a hotline with one of the true leaders that's doing the job that we asked him to go do in Baton Rouge for years. Finally got the job done. Still got to go back to a special session because uh, the governor will not agree unless we get spend a lot more money. 844-766-6607. Hickson has a hotline. Representative Cameron Henry, my special guest. You know, Cameron, it's uh, it was I thought it was great to see. I think the people supporting y'all i don't think any you know there's a, there were a few i call them republican turncoats and that's their business they have a choice if they want to vote uh like the left does but the bottom line is most of them held together and i, I know you want to thank all the guys and ladies that held together to say look enough's enough let's do something different because doing what they wanted to do was not leadership that was just that was just doing what we've always done Right, and that, that's the main thing we're trying to do is we're just trying to – what we're doing isn't working, so we're going to try to change it. And the first the first way to do it is just to hold back a little bit of money just like everybody else is. Yeah, and, and I need to thank all my colleagues because they, they did a fantastic job of sticking together. And, look, other members had to vote other ways based on their district, and I, I don't fault them for that. That's – you know, that's they feel the best for their district, so be it. Um, but – from the perspective of of the of the house and a lot of things, people think that there's victories here and we can't give the governor this. Look, the only people who come out ahead in all this are the taxpayers. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. The house doesn't win. The governor doesn't win or lose. House members don't win or lose. Senate doesn't win or lose. The only person who comes out ahead on all this is the taxpayers because we're going to make sure that you know next 
that the next special session that the governor wants to call to raise your taxes, that before we do any of that, is that we've got to stop spending more money than we have. And if we can't do that, we sure in the world should never even attempt to raise anybody's tax. But one of the things, I'm kind of getting a t- kick out of it, and I realize that the governor's lack of leadership is showing, he's having to call y'all names. Childish, uh, lack of leadership, uh, failure. And uh, I-, I think there's a, two or three different branches of government working here, right? I mean, well, you got, you got again, two or three different working together. You don't, y'all the only one of the three, between the Senate and the governor, y'all the only three that said, we're going to do it different. We're just not going to go spend everybody's money. We're just not going to go to the taxpayers and say, hey, we need more money. We just did that last year. I don't know if you saw this deal, and I need to send it to you, where they, they passed $2.3 billion worth of taxes, the whole country, 50 states, okay, $2.3 yes, billion. That you, Louisiana passed $1.5 billion or 65% of the state taxes that were raised last year. We're, we, the closest one was South Dakota at $107 million. We've already done that. We've but already they, done that, Cameron. We we are the leader on raising taxes last year compared to all the rest of the country, state taxes. And and so where do you go from here? Third worst economy, third highest on second worst economy, third highest unemployment rate. How do you keep taking money from people that don't have it? Well, and that that's the problem is that you at a certain point you're taxing people that don't have jobs. So you're not really bringing any you're not bringing in any revenue that you think you're going to bring in, which creates the mid year mid year cut. So you again you're trying to spend more money than you have. Yeah. Uh, you know I'm not coming back to another special session after this to raise taxes any more taxes. Uh, to tell you the truth, the taxes we did raise were temporary, so all those are rolling off. So if 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 government or agencies think this is a difficult time, wait till that money rolls off, and you really have to reduce your budget. And that's what we're trying to work towards. We're trying to lower everybody's base budget so that next year when, when it comes up, we can try to do it again, me, and we're actually moving towards some type of fiscal responsibility without just taking more money from, you, from, from your listeners. Yeah, Representative Cameron Henry, my special guest. Cameron, real quick, talk about the one-cent sales tax for a second. Gone 2018, July 1st, a little bit over a year. I want you to talk about in perspective with the budget, what y'all were trying to do. Tell me if I'm correct or if I'm wrong. If, if y'all went with the standstill budget that y'all did with, of course, a little bit of increases on the mandate, y'all would have knocked out half the deficit right there. Then y'all had to look at the one cent sales tax, maybe look at a half cent, maybe look at nothing. How? Tell us how would you fix that without coming to us and saying we're going to take even more money out your pocket? Because that's, well, that's what Edwards wants to do. He wants more right. money. And, and what, what we're trying, the whole point of this budget process that we're doing through now, is to give ourselves options for the taxpayers. If you can hold your spending tight now, you, we, we, we didn't have the additional $400 million that the governor wanted in additional taxes and additional spending, then you're, you're working towards reducing that deficit. So when it's time to renew the penny, um, we can get we don't have to do it, or we're doing a half of it, a quarter. Yeah. At least you're giving yourself option. Right now, we're digging in, and everybody who's complaining about the special session, just wait six months from now when the governor wants us to renew the penny, and that's a billion dollars in taxes, by the billion way, dollars on the sales tax. By the way, and say you're making my point too. We did the temporary sales tax, so it was supposed to jump up to help till you figure things out. That's not right. what they want. They want a permanent tax now to keep that same amount of money coming in. Am I correct? That's why they want that, to do it. That, yeah. That's correct. And and the, the the issue is is that if you're going to let government agencies drive the budget process every year, they're going to come and ask you for more and more money. So eventually, as 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 a representative of the people, you have to push back on that and say, well, look, let's see how you're spending the money you're doing now. Or we can't give you as much of an increase as you'd like. Because the only way to increase it is to get the revenue from somewhere. Yep. And again, that's just more taxes. Yeah, Cameron Henry, thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody's behind you. Don't listen to the headlines of the press and what the governor says. We need y'all to fight through the 19th and hold what you got, brother. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you for the support. Have a good day. All right, Representative Lance Harris, another leader. Blake Miguez is late in the program, too. Ralph Abraham, Congressman Abraham, on what happened yesterday and what's going on in Congress. All that on our open forum edition. Well, it's open for y'all to listen. <laughs> we'll take a break. Be right back. 